Well, I, I can talk about the region. It's been my specialty. Um, now, the branding in the region has been a, um, a quite, it has so many common uh, criteria in general. Saudi has small differentiating ones, but that not are necessarily very different from what we see in Abu Dhabi or in Dubai. I would say it's more of a difference between a client and another and uh, how much the clients themselves are exposed to branding. Usually uh, when we deal with a client who knows what branding is, it makes our uh, task much easier and we progress uh, much faster. Uh, however, sometimes we deal also with uh, uh, clients who brand for the first time and uh, they, uh, they surprise us with the way uh, they embrace the whole process and how much uh, uh, they trust uh, us as, as branding consultants in what we, uh, what we recommend. So it's, it's, I would say that it's a matter of uh, one by one. I wouldn't be very, you know, general about countries, case by case. Think of Emirates Airlines, uh, think of EMAR. EMAR is one of our major and uh, oldest clients. And EMAR has been now uh, uh, dealt with as a, as a global brand. It's no more a, a regional brand. Uh, there is also another brand that we, uh, we cater to since uh, a few years, which is Danata. And Danata, uh, well, uh, has been now on the global map since a few years because they grew so quickly and they have such a potential. And uh, uh, their ambition was, was big. Uh, our role in, in as, a, as brush brands was just to help them uh, develop what they needed, and uh, uh, but definitely their, their ambition and their uh, uh, real uh, plans and strategies took them to the global uh, arena. Uh, now every brand has the potential to go global if it needs to. There are some brands that are uh, set to be regional or even local. And maybe if they go global, they lose a little bit of their shine. Depends of you know, their offerings and their... Uh, uh, however, I agree with you that even on the regional level, many brands could be much bigger. And uh, you know, if they, if, they, uh, if they take all their boxes, starting from inside and from the services that they offer or the product they offer, uh, they have, they, you know, they, they, they can reach the regional uh, level uh, after some time with hard work, definitely, and with uh, being assisted by specialists and consultants, because this is also something that they would potentially need. Uh, one of our brands, I will not name it here, uh, is a global. I mean, they are based in the region, in Qatar but they became now global and we've been uh, helping them for the last uh, year or so, uh, helping them grow their businesses uh, in different parts of the world, mainly in uh, Southeast Asia, uh, but also in the Middle East and in North Africa. Uh, our role would be uh, to uh, set with them what they need in terms of strategy and of design uh, so that when they go to another country, whether they go to uh, have a joint venture or if they acquire a new brand in the, in the region, uh, they know how to deal with it and they, they deal with it without losing or losing a little bit of the equity, as, as little as possible, because there is always a risk of uh, shaking the market, the, the local market when another large brand comes and uh, acquires a successful local brand. But if they deal uh, with it properly and they, uh, uh, they plan it ahead, they minimize the, the impact and uh, on the shorter term and on the longer term they can go beyond the success that they had as a local uh, brand. So uh, this is something that is uh, also feasible, it's done, and we, we can see different examples, not only 
examples that are uh, necessarily only our clients. There are many examples that, uh, that happen in the region for successful brands going really regionally and globally. Simple but very efficient uh, uh, process, which is uh, mainly formed by three phases. Uh, the first one is uh, the ins what we call it the insight, so uh, making sure that we have a clear understanding of the brand, uh, knowing uh, as much as we can about uh, the ambition of the brand, defining it, and then we move to the next phase, which is the idea. Uh, well, this is where we need to find a big idea for the brand and we need to make sure that this ambition that we have defined in the first uh, phase uh, has all uh, the components that will make it happen. So we, after we define the, the, the big idea, uh, uh, we, we start putting around it uh, the proper, I would say, uh, frame uh, that will take us later on to the last uh, phase, which is uh, the, uh, the, the impact, the, 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 the third phase. And the impact is about the brand and design expression. So the brand expression is now, uh, we understood it first, we defined secondly uh, what it stands for, we found its big idea, and then the third is now we create, if you want, all the visual uh, uh, manifestation of the brand in different ways. And this is where the design starts. So uh, this process is applied in every uh, brand that we develop and it's been uh, successful. We have, uh, for the moment, Brush is uh, probably, I could say that we're probably the fastest growing uh, branding agency in, in, in the region. Uh, and uh, if you look at our website, and I'm sure you, you, you know a little bit about it, you can see that most of our clients or brands have, I mean, are iconic. Now, when we say this, we're very careful. It's not like we say that it's because of us, uh, but definitely we play a role. This takes me to something that, you know, we, we pride ourselves with, which is uh, the results that we get every year because we conduct a survey every year with our clients and uh, the survey shows all the time, I mean it's been showing for the last few years now, uh, growing positive results. And uh, just quickly if you don't mind because these numbers are, uh, I'm going to we have 88%, just to be very accurate, of our clients claim that we help them grow tangible value to their business. So uh, this is after the 68% of our clients saw growth in our commercial results. 82% uh, uh, have seen a sustainable competitive advantage in their brand after they did the exercise with Brush Brands. And 71% of our clients would highly recommend Brash on the impact of the work that we did with them. So these, uh, these results, we, we conduct them not to just, you know, to put them on the website, but also to uh, make sure that uh, wherever there is a, a point that we can uh, improve ourselves on, uh, we do it. So it's, it's a sort of uh, self-test every year we try to understand where we were successful and uh, whenever there is something we can improve on, uh, we learn from it for uh, the, the next client, I would say.